Today we will be starting a chapter on current electricity and this is an extension to the chapter of electrostatics wherein we studied the charges which were at rest and the effect of the charges on the field. Okay. Now here we will be studying, studying the effect when the charges are in motion. Okay. Uh, now just we will start with an introduction to the uh, chapter on current electricity. In the today's uh, world, everywhere around us we can find some applications of current electricity. Now, without electricity, we would be back in our medieval ages. Okay, we would be again plunged back into the darkness. So it's very important to study the effect, okay, what the moving charges produce. Okay, and some applications or some very common uh, electricity applications around us which we can find. Okay. Now the most common application or the common example of electricity which we encounter in our everyday life uh, is the household wirings, the current in the household wirings. The other application would be the lightning uh, occurs during thunder showers. Now, uh, we might have observed that during lightning, during the return stroke of lightning, we uh, some of our appliances on the earth station, on the earth get damaged and this is because of the flow of charges. Okay. Uh, even in our uh, human body, we can find that there are very tiny nerve currents which flow inside the nerves which helps in our muscular activities. So the current electricity or the flow of charges is very important even to human beings. Okay. Now what exactly is the current? Okay. Which, how we can define current? Electro, uh, current? Now uh, we define current quantitatively as the rate of flow of charges. Okay. Like Quantitatively we can define it as the rate of change of charges. Okay. Now suppose if we will consider a cross section of a conductor. Okay, suppose this is a conductor okay, and we consider a cross section of a conductor okay, having an area A. So the current could be defined as the rate at which the charges would pass through this cross section. Okay. So suppose that we assume that Q coulomb of charge passes a given cross section in time t. Okay. So the current could be given as Q by t. Now this definition is for a steady flow of current. Now if you imagine that there is a differential amount of charges which is passing through a cross section, then in the differential world we can write the current as dq by dt. That is the differentiation, the rate of change of the charges with respect to time. Where the charges is measured in coulombs, the time is in second and the unit of current is ampere. Now the other thing which comes into our mind is how the direction of the current is determined. Now basically there are two types of charges which we encounter in our world, a positive charge and a negative charge. Okay. Now for a, if we will consider a positive charge, okay, for a positive charge For a positive charge, if it is uh, moving, okay, the direction of the current would be in the direction of the motion of the positive charge. Whereas in the case of negative charge, okay, the direction of the current would be in the direction opposite to the direction of the flow of the negative charge. Basically, when we will be dealing with the convention currents, we will consider the flow of positive charge as the reference for the direction of the flow of current. Okay. Uh, but uh, one more uh, important, very important consequence of the current uh, direction is that even though the current is having, has some uh, direction associated with it, even though it is not a vector quantity, but it is a scalar quantity. Uh, how we can say that it is not a vector quantity is because the direction only suggests the direction of the flow of charges. It does not uh, indicate uh, the actual direction or the direction associated with the vector quantity. Okay. The uh, other thing which we can say, which we can uh, uh, say that uh, it is not a vector quantity is that the current does not obey the vector law of algebra. Okay. Even uh, whatever be the angle between the two currents, we need to add it algebraically. We can't add it by using parallelogram law of addition. Okay. So this suggests that uh, current is not a vector quantity. So we should keep this thing in mind. Okay. Uh, now uh, the other thing apart from current 
Okay, since this is not a vector quantity, so while deriving the fields associated with the current, we need a vector quantity. So there is a vector quantity which is related to the current and this quantity is known as current density. Okay, so we'll just uh, study what is current, uh, current density. Now current density, it is indicated by J and this vector suggests the density of flow of the conserved charges. Now uh, quantitatively it can be given as the amount of current flowing through a given area, okay, through a given area uh, cross section of a conductor. Okay. Like J quantitatively it is given as the current flowing per unit area where a i is the current and a is the area of cross section of the con conductor okay now basically since this is a vector quantity so we need to have the direction associated with the current density and that direction can be obtained uh, if we'll uh, assume the differential quantity for the current density then it can be given as the rate of change of current okay, with the change in the area of cross section and uh, in order to find the current okay, we can integrate this over the surface to find the current density So here we can observe that the current is actually the dot product of the current density with the area under consideration, the area of cross section under consideration. So suppose if we'll consider an area of cross section and the direction of the current density is this. So the angle between the normal to the surface, okay, suppose this indicates the normal to the surface okay, and the direction of the current density okay, will give us the angle theta. Okay, so basically this is J cos theta to dA, the magnitude of the current. Okay. Now in normal case, when we will consider a cylinder, in that case theta would be 0, so this would be reduced to J dA. The unit of uh, current density from here we can see that it is ampere per meter square. 